four and I'm going to be telling you about my project and what am I doing it on and the thing that I'm doing it on is cleaning products so first is how did I get the idea of my project and the idea is I just like clean things and just I just like stuff spotty next um what I find out about it is that other products can be better than other products. Then, next, I was surprised about how the both products turned out which was better and which one was worse. And how I did my experiment, experiment was I used hair dye to put in the sink and I put it on each side and each each side and I'm gonna be cleaning each side with different products so I'm working on that next is no I will not be doing the same project next year Sorry, what I would be doing differently next year if I had the same project is I would let the dirt sit longer to make it harder for the spray to clean. Lastly, what my project would do today is clean better and It would help and like it would help it would help people today because it cleans better and it gets the job done like I play baseball and I slide in the dirt and it gets dirt all on my white uniform and when I get home all my mom has to do is apply a few bleach steps and it'll get the job done. Brandon Ford, and I'm going to be doing an experiment on to see what cleaning products does best and one which does worst. Now here's the twist. I'm going to be using two of these cleaning products. One is the Lysol, including bleach, and the Great Value All-Purpose Cleaner. So first, the All-Purpose Great Value Cleaner has, it, it takes 5 minutes and 30 seconds to clean and the bleach takes three minutes to clean which is better than the, the um, all-purpose cleaner so we're just going to be testing these out and see how they do and if needed I'm going to be using the scrubber and I'm going to be using the hair dye to show how do the cleaners work we're going to get started so first we're going to put the hair dye on each side of the sink that's one side and it's two sides so now first we're going to use the all purpose so now I'm going to use the all purpose cleaner but first to make it seem more and show we're going to make it messy So now we're going to use the Great Value All All Purpose Cleaner on this side. So, so now I'm going to squirt this Great Value All Purpose Cleaner five times on one side and then we're going to do the lights off bleach on one side. So first we're going to use the All Purpose Cleaner Great Value. Now we're going to use our, our sponge. So 
So now we're gonna use the Lysol bleach, well, including bleach. So now we're gonna spray it on this side of the sink. Wow, that actually turned out better than I expected and it cleaned better than the great value all purpose. So now the effect is that the Lysol bleach is a better cleaning product than the great value all purpose cleaner. So wow, like wow, look at the differences. We literally we have left them for five minutes and look at the results. I think the Lysol bleach did better because the bleach helped it more than the Great Value All Purpose Cleaner. So I feel like the Lysol had a little more kick to it because the bleach helped it out and cleaned it better. Then you can put it on. Now wait just now. So what we're gonna do is we're still. We're, I know that the all-purpose cleaner is still a good product, but it might take more squirts. Now it might take like five more squirts, which the Lysol bleach only took five. But five more with the all-purpose cleaner takes probably ten. So I'm gonna use ten and show y'all. Now I'm gonna scrub. See, it probably only takes a little more. You see, it does better because it only takes a few more squirts. So, from the results, the light saw bleach may be a stronger product because it has bleach in it and it took less squirts. The all-purpose cleaner, it took 10 squirts, which is still a good product, but it took more squirts than the light saw bleach. So I prefer the light saw bleach over the all-purpose great value cleaner. Thank you, and this includes my spare room.